He should never have lied. That was the real mistake. I have some very definite ideas of right and wrong, and it's always wrong to lie. Well, perhaps he was afraid. Well, of course he was afraid. He cheated during the Latin exam. He knew he'd be found out. He knew he'd be punished. But lying made everything a hundred times worse. Alan, is that you? Lord, it's my mother. Oh, there you are. Do forgive me. I thought I heard the doorbell, but I wasn't quite sure. I was in the garden, you see. Do forgive me. Well, aren't you going to introduce your friend? Uh, yes, sorry. Um, Christopher Morecambe. How do you do, Christopher? How do you do, Mrs. Chorley? I'm delighted to meet you at long last. Alan has talked so much about you, and I kept saying to him, do bring Christopher down for the weekend, never expecting for a moment that he would. Whatever we say, he always tries to keep his school friends to himself. I think perhaps he's ashamed of us. Do come through. Come along this way. Do sit down, won't you? Sit over here by me. Thank you. How long have you been at Sherburn? A, a year longer than Turing, Alan. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Oh, very much. Choosing the right school is so tremendously important, don't you think? I'm very impressed with Sherburn. It's not that wonderful. Well, of course it is. Why, what's wrong with it? Well, for one thing, they don't treat mathematics as a serious subject. I can't believe that. Well, it's true. I mean, you know what our form master said the other day? He said, this room stinks of ma mathematics. And then he said, looking straight at me, he said, go out and get a di disinfectant spray. Well, he was joking. Oh, no, he hates anything to do with science or ma mathematics. You know, he once said, and he meant it, he said that the G G Germans lost the Great War because they thought science was more important than religion. Well, the teaching of mathematics is not the only way to judge the qualities of a school. Yes, well, it is as far as I'm concerned. I gather you share this enthusiasm for sums and science. Uh, oh, yes, very much so. But Morecambe's brother's a scientist, Mother. I mean, they've got their own laboratory at home. Really? It's a good... Chris has got his own telescope. Really? How splendid. Oh, it's tremendous, Mrs. Turing. Absolutely splendid. The other night... Did I tell you, the other night I actually saw one of Jupiter's satellites coming out from eclipse. It was amazing. Gosh. The sky was wonderfully clear. Absolutely cloudless. I felt I was wandering through the universe. Jupiter, Sirius, Betelgeuse, the Andromeda Nebula. It was quite overwhelming. The hugeness of creation. Gosh, how terrific. Yes, it all sounds very fascinating, I must say. Fascinating, but far beyond my grasp. It's, it's the same with that theory Alan was telling me about. What is it you know, the man of the Jewish name? Mr. Einstein. Einstein, yes. Didn't understand a word of it, not one single word. Let's have some tea, shall we? Do wash your hands, Alan, they're covered in ink. Did Alan tell you about my grandfather's cousin? He was a scientist. He invented the electron. He didn't invent it. But mother, electrons exist. You can't invent them. Well, he found them or discovered them or something. He was a member of the Royal Society. Very distinguished. Do wash your hands, Alan. Come along. Oh, good. Chris. Um, I'm sorry, Morgan. One can't choose one's own mother. <laughs> She's all right. Do you know what I wish? What? I mean, I wish this was my house. I mean, but my, my own house. And we could live here, you and I. We could have our own rooms, our own laboratories. We could just work together, share everything. And what a wonderful life that would be. Yes. Yes, it would. Come along, Christopher. I better go. Oh, Chris. Thank you for coming to see me today. Don't forget to wash your hands. 